Good afternoon, welcome. We're going to play a bit of Spelunky on PlayStation 4. Um, specifically, we're going to do the daily challenge. Um, and we're going to see how we get on. The last time I did one of these, I did not do spectacularly well. Um, but we'll take it easy and we'll see how we get on, shall we? Uh, we'll just use our standard adventurer. Nothing, nothing fleshy. I sort of got back into this game in the last couple of weeks. Um, I watched a really good video, which I'll try and link in the description, which talked about kind of the procedural layout and all that sort of stuff. And I realised actually the thing that sort of keeps me coming back to this is the fact that no two games are the same. And um, sometimes it's just damn unfair. And that's kind of what I like. I like the challenge. You almost don't know the difficulty level you're going to get on any given day. And also, I think Spelunky is one of those games where you don't play it for a while. As you can see, you kind of lose your technique. So the idea of kind of coming back to it every day and nearly land on the spikes is kind of a, attractive to me. And also, there's just so much variety in the game. You know, it kind of challenges all aspects of your of your skill set. Your kind of strategic thinking, your reactions, your muscle memory. And it's actually there's not that many games I think that that kind of exercise your full your full skill set. There's a lot of games that are sort of fast twitch, and there's quite a few games that are strategy. Um, I think it's a bit like PUBG in that way. If you've played Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. You know, there's a bit of fast twitch gunplay in there, but there's a heck of a lot of strategy, and every game is unique. Um, and that's really what I like about Spelunky, I think. Ah, there is a damsel on this level, okay. Let's see if we can get her. Especially as I blew a few extra lives. Is there anything else up here worth getting? Oh, there's some stuff, okay. We've got plenty of time, so we may as well take up time, get the gold, get the damsel, get out. Sometimes you just kind of want to get off the level, but certainly the early levels, if there's stuff to be taken. Always in favour of taking it. It's level one done. Get a life back. I think I lost two to that bloody spider. Um, okay, level two. Ah, yeah, the Arrow got shot by the spider, which is kind of nice. Some ropes. Uh, probably don't need the rock. Could bomb that for a bit of cash. I'll take that. We can drop down there. Just, oh, my wish. Scared of pots. Bloody, too many bloody spiders. Let's see if we can get this one. Go. Gonna need a rope, but that's okay. I got some extra ropes before. Whoa, big nuggets of gold. Okay. That's a pretty safe drop. There's the exit, so we know where the exit is. And there's a shop. Okay. Let's just... Sugar! And again, sometimes you realise that what you've made is a colossal error. In this case, I've angered the shopkeeper. Which, of course, carries on all the way through all of their levels, you idiot. Okay, so, level three. And we've got angry shopkeepers. Hey! Brilliant. Uh, can, we, um, can we blow that up? Oh, jeez. Let's just blow the thing up. Okay, the shopkeeper's still angry. Ah, oh, we killed ourselves. Brilliant. Well, luckily he's angry and up there. And I don't there's an obvious way he can... Um, Oh, I killed myself like a muppet. Uh, so that's always the best way to die, isn't it? Uh, so that's our daily challenge over. Oh, where did we get? Rank 375. I'll take that. Um, 
I hope you enjoyed. I might play a few more of these. Um, it's just a short little video. It's just kind of a fun game to play. If you liked it, please like, please share, please subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.